It is not because um, we cannot or we don't have a market for the cooking oil. The situation is that you need to bring the soy and process. Out of the process, you, you squeeze the, uh, the crude oil and the cake is given to the poultry industry. So it goes hand in hand. Vegetable oil goes hand in hand with poultry. Beautiful. And so before you can get poultry feed, you need the soy cake, mm -hmm. which adds protein to the animal feed. And it's about 28% that you add to the volume. The rest is made up of maize. And then you put the chemicals into it. So without soy, the poultry industry will collapse. And that is what is happening currently. All the talk, all the hulabalu has not addressed the main issue. And so we are just going round and round and round and round. And next year I'll come and sit here and say the same thing again. The whole thing is that you need to put in capital to be able to get the processing going. The capital injection is not there because all of us, one way or the other, fall, fail, uh, you know, fall foul of the uh, 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 financial institutions. Because the financial institutions, as they stand now, do not understand agriculture financing. And that's a fact. And so they give agriculture financing just like trading financing. So right. it never works. Agriculture financing should come from patient capital. And then you will nurse it and let it mature. So if you give a processor or a farmer money and you tell the processor or the farmer to pay every 30 days, it is a no-no, it won't work. And that is what has happened. And so all the soya industry took a new dive because we could not get the, um, the equipment to process the soy. And soy is not like maize. Mm -hmm.